Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're just gonna chat. We're gonna just kind of sit here and unwind together. I have had so much on my mind, so much on my heart. I have been just filled with anxiety when I think of YouTube recently and I hate that. Like I really, really hate that. And I just want to advocate for the community that is in this with passion and integrity and we're still here. Like I, I think the most frustrating thing right now uh, with how everything has been going down, like it's, you can't escape it. Like literally I will click on something that I am subscribed to and like all these recommended videos will pop up and I'm like, oh my God, like the end of the beauty community? Like what? Like, are you serious? Um, so there's just so much happening and it feels like every day there's another story and I'm not here to point fingers or be like, yeah, that person deserved all the hate or yeah, that person deserves it. Ew, look what they did. Like I'm not getting on the dance floor for anybody's business that they're dealing with, like that's on them. I hope people learn from their mistakes. I know I am not perfect and I have learned from my mistakes in the past, you know, I'm lucky that I started YouTube when I was 28, I believe. You know, I had a lot of time to mature and not have everything be on social. So not that I've ever been like that crazy and wild, but I just feel like people do grow and you have to give them an opportunity to grow and shift. And I don't think anything super productive comes from crapping all over people. They get it, I'm sure they get it. I think we as humans, if we're hurt and called out on something, you know, naturally either we're gonna wanna change or we get more angry, you know? So let's all just hope that change happens in a positive direction for anyone like beauty community or not, anyone going through it. I think the more we try to understand people, the more we actually help them to become better people. So I always like to say that. I think a lot of this me, me, me behavior has just gotta stop, you know? Like we were all here to build something cool out of nothing and that's what we've done. And I think for many of us, and I, I said this to a girlfriend the other night that also does YouTube, I'm like, you know, many of us sat down in front of a camera to connect with people, to make friends, because we felt like we didn't fit in in high school. We felt like we were kind of the outcasts in a way, like who the hell else is gonna sit down and talk to a camera? Only someone who's a little bit like, like, you know, like we're all a little weird. Why are we treating each other in ways where we wanted to escape from? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so it's just been kind of bizarre. I don't deal well with this stuff. I think our audience deserves more. I think our community deserves more from each other. I think that we need to be more understanding toward brands and brands need to be more understanding toward us. I think it goes every which way. So I did watch Marlena from Makeup Geeks video yesterday and a lot of what she said, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, like go girl, like I understand. A lot of what she said, I also was like, Ooh, I was like, why did you put that number out there? Like that makes it feel like all of us are, are behaving this way. Um, and that's not the case. So I love her, I admire her. I think she's like a rock star businesswoman. She built something back when no one else was really having a go at it and she was very successful with it. And I love her products. I guess it was that video that really triggered me to sit down and make this one. You know, I've watched a lot go down in the eight years that I've been making videos and I very, very seldom like sit down and talk about things. Like that's just not who I am. And like, even on Twitter, like I just am like, not my business. Like I stay out of it, you know? Like, sure, I'm gonna stick up for myself, but when it's other people, like I'm just gonna let them sort it out. I know that my opinion is not required for everything. Um, and sometimes everybody's opinion just makes the problem even worse. But I am gonna say that I want to defend our community a little bit and I am gonna leak some of my own emails. And this is back from 2015, so I'll put them up right now. And I would never like leak private information that could be damaging to someone. Uh, this is just, this is for my community to see that there are still people in the game that are in this because they love this and we're not all after the giant paycheck. You know, sure, I wanna make money, like who doesn't? I would be an idiot if I sat here and filmed and edited and researched and crafted and did everything for a hundred hours a week. If I didn't earn a living from this, I couldn't do this. And it has grown to a place where I earn a fantastic living from doing this. But I also do other things that you guys don't even know about. I really come from nothing. I have a drive to make it. I wanna take care of my family. That has been a huge mission of mine is to work a job that I love 
and make money at it. And I've done that. And um, because of that, I don't get too like stressed out over like all the numbers and the competition and oh my gosh, I need to be with this click and that click and that click. I just kind of like who I like and that's it. And that's kind of always how it's been for me. I feel like I had to speak on this. I feel like I had to let you guys know that there are many more out there like me that do this for the sheer love of it, that yes, want to run it wisely and want to have a profit from it and earn a living from it. And that's not what I'm getting at. I'm not saying that we should all be here and work for free and you know, whatever, um, which will rub some people the wrong way too, I'm sure, because they don't understand the amount of time that really goes into running a channel like this. I have really poured everything into this. Like at this point, it's not just a hobby. This is my job, you know, I'm, I'm in it. And you know, I've taken from this and pulled it into my own business and now I have my own brand. And I am so proud of myself that I was able to do that from hustling so hard filming five days a week. You know, I'm not against sponsorships, but um, I have been someone that's been super selective, like super, super, super crazy, probably over the top selective. And I think that really is the better way to go. And I know I'm being very careful. I don't wanna piss off my community. I really don't. I love my community. I wanna support my community. Like I'm here for them. I think it is so bold and cool when anybody decides that they wanna sit down and talk to a camera and put themselves out there, that takes a special person. So to all of you that do this, my hat's off to you. And if you do brand deals and you like doing it a certain way, that's your deal. And, and I'm going to you know support you along the way as best I can. Um, for me, that wasn't the biggest fit. Like codes just were never the biggest fit for me. Not because I hate codes, but because I just never really like synced with a brand so hardcore that I wanted it in every single description box. You know what I'm saying? Like I review so much that for me, it just did not make sense to all the time have something sitting there, but other people are really successful with it and that's fine. So I really feel like doing sponsorships, doing affiliates, that kind of a thing does not make you a fake guru. It doesn't make you a sellout. The problem that I'm having right now is the entitlement and the directness that management is having with brands. And I am seeing it front and center. And this is why, this is a huge part of why I'm sitting down and speaking on it because it's embarrassing. And like, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Um, <laughs> like, holy crap. I, I'm just not gonna name drop people because I know what happens when you do do that. They get dragged so hard. But I do have to say it is a problem and I think that this needs to be talked about when management is emailing on an influencer's behalf to a brand and they are saying, my client would love to talk about your product Halo, but you're gonna need to pay us. That's just never been how I operated. I have, okay, first off, I don't have a manager, I don't have an agent, I don't have an MCN, I don't have PR. I'm just running my ship on my own. I think I've done a pretty good job of it. I don't want all of that input. Um, maybe at some point it'll get to a place where with my brand, I will need those things. But for right now, for this, for me, you, I don't need it. I just don't. Um, so I haven't gone that route, but it is really alarming when you see people saying, I am the realist, like shame on all these like beauty gurus who are after it for the money. And then I get that email for that person saying, well, she's only gonna talk about this if you pay. And like, I'm a new brand, you know, like I'm not L'Oreal, I'm not Estee Lauder. Like at this point, my brand does not have the funds where it makes sense to pay for promotion. And also I'm not at a place where I want that. Like I just want people to try it and love it and experience a really good result. And if they feel inclined to talk about it, cool. And if they don't like, cool, whatever, I'm just gonna keep charging along. Um, I know my product is, is fantastic. So the other thing is like, I, I would never, like if I did cross that line where I did do any sponsorships from a brand perspective with an influencer, it would only be with someone that really loves what I am doing and gets it and understands the brand messaging and where there is like synergy and harmony. What I don't understand is this whole like, well, I'll say whatever you want, but you're gonna have to pay me. It's just bizarre. 
And these are people that are coming out with their own collabs and they expect you to hold it up and praise it and swatch it and make a video. And I am just like mind blown right now. Like I am mind blown that we're at a place where everybody has a manager that's kind of like elbowing in and being like, well, my client says this. And I think, I kind of think that's part of the problem. I think they're part of the problem. I think that if we had more direct communication with one another and understood what we were working on and supported one another, that maybe, maybe it could be better again. Maybe we could all work together and understand like, hey, this is what I'm doing. It's exciting. This is why I'm different. This is why it's good. This is why it's special. And you're over here and you're like, oh yeah, cool. This is what I did. And this is how long it took me. And this is why this is special. And I'm gonna be like, really? I wanna try it. I wanna take a look. Hey, high five, let's support each other. It feels like those days are gone because so many people are money first, passion second. And Again, there's nothing wrong with money, but we need to move those parts around. I just had a lot to get off my chest with that. You know, I want people to not look at my channel and wonder, oh, is Tati one of the guys that's like secretly like on the DL, like telling brands that they better pay her? And like, no, I'm not. Like I've never done a brand deal where it hasn't been from them approaching me and where it hasn't been like a real natural fit where not only do I love the product, but I love the team and there's a story there and there's a connection there. And I feel like in a way, whenever I do a sponsored video, I kind of feel like I'm serving you like a special meal. And like, if you're gonna come to my home, I want you to like the meal. I don't want you to leave and be like, oh, she tricked us, it was gross. So I do everything I can to like make sure the ingredients are special and fantastic and good. And what I am giving to you is the best. Like I'm over here working to find the best, the best, the best. And that's what my channel is all about, sharing tips, love for makeup, lifestyle, feeling good, escaping from this nasty world. And I don't want our escape to become the nasty part of our day. And it's kind of turning into that. And that's why I kind of really wanted to sit down and, and chat. And I think I'm kind of stupid for doing this, to be honest, because I just had a very smooth, like clean, successful launch. So I don't want videos to be made about this video and have it turn into like a weird thing with me and like damage what I've just successfully done. Like, thank God. So this is on one hand, really bad timing. And on the other hand, just me really, really needing to chat with you guys because I started actually having like a lump in my throat where like that's my biggest like source of stress. Like I get this weird lump in my throat and someone told me that means you need to speak your truth and it's your throat chakra when you get a lump in your throat. And I'm like, man, I've been holding a lot in. Like I love my community. I love YouTube. I don't want it to turn into this. Like it's just really sad. And I don't want the younger audience watching all of us to think that you need to chase money to be happy. You don't. Chase yourself, chase your dreams. You know, I think that should always be first. And if you like beautiful things and you like luxury things, that's okay. But that's not the whole you. And that's not the whole me. And that's not why I'm here. You know, I'm here to create and like even with my brand, like it's the most exciting thing. Like I feel so blessed that I have been able to grow to a place to have the resources to do this on my own and to do it the way I envision it and to work with the right team. I don't care so much about like how many bags are in my closet. Like I don't have time to shop right now. Like I'm in my business. Like that's my passion. That's my baby right now. And I love it. Like it's the, it's so fulfilling to me. My relationships are fulfilling. You guys are fulfilling to me. So it's not all money, money, money. And it kind of grosses me out when that takes charge of like the front center. Um, I also just want to say like, I didn't know if I was going to bring this up or not. And I feel a little bit weird bringing it up because again, I don't want to be over here. Like she's stirring the pot. She's making a mess for everybody because I believe people can change and I am a very forgiving person. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be best friends with them, but I don't like to hold on to a lot of hate for people. I just, I think you damage yourself more doing that. Um, but 
yeah, in this business, there has been a lot of, you know, backstabbing, social climbing. That whole thing is very, very real. There are very few people that I stay connected to behind the scenes that are on the platform. And I choose to not overdo Snapchat or Instagram because when I'm hanging out with them, that's like not what it's about. It's about me really hanging out with them. Anyway, I, of course you guys know, I've gotten a lot of heat being friends with Jeffree Star. And I heard you guys, like I was getting handwritten letters, people were really like misunderstanding him and people were misunderstanding me. And they're like, how can you be like so nice? Da, 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 da. Shane Dawson, the series that they did together, it really let everybody into a very vulnerable side of Jeffrey, which I love. Like, I love that. I'm all about getting past all of this peacocking and like me, me, me. Like we are all hiding something. Like we all have this layer beneath and the layer beneath that. And I think it's the most fascinating thing to try to get there with the people that you find most interesting and that you care about. So I find Jeffrey to be very intelligent, interesting, creative. Like I like this energy that he has. I think he's really funny too. Like he makes me laugh. Um, we're not like super tight best friends that hang out every day, but we have a mutual respect. Like we're both wildly different. Like, hello, we're both super different, but there's a mutual respect and we've never had any issues. So I loved seeing him open up and there's something about him that I am drawn to and that I do care about. So while we were, you know, spending more time together back when, you know, the two of us were into still going to events and whatnot, it kind of feels like that season shifted and everybody kind of started doing their own thing. I, I did let him know about what I was doing with Halo and some of my family didn't even know yet. Like my own family was like, what are you doing? Um, like I didn't let them know really until we got very, very close. So we're chit chatting and he mentions just casually in conversation, talking about the industry, talking about things. Um, and we're in like a group of people here. We're talking and he's like, you know, I have a potential opportunity to do a deal with a hair vitamin. And I hadn't told anybody about what I was doing. And I was like, I felt it in my chest. I was like, you know, I think that my friends are gonna think what I'm doing is really cool. Maybe they won't, maybe they'll be supportive, maybe they won't. Um, but I decided to take a risk and I shared with him like, hey, this is what I'm doing. I think it's gonna be really, really difficult, but like I'm all in and I believe in what I'm doing. And let me tell you why. And let me give you an education as to why I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. This is my lab. This is my plan. I'm cutting out the middleman instead of overcharging. I'm putting it all into the product. I'm gonna make this work. It's gonna give results. It's gonna be a really meaningful product. And he's like, yeah, sure. Like, I don't, I don't really want to do it anyway. And it was just kind of like a no big, like, like, no, like, of course. So there is this side of the industry where we do support each other and it's not BS. It's not like I hold up a product of Jeffrey's and I'm like, I love it. And it's a bad product. Like I'm only going to speak to good products, period. But you guys know if I can support, I'm going to support. So, uh, yeah, anyway, other people who were around that knew what I was doing, um, while I launched, I got no support and it just was a really messed up thing that while I was going through what I call my house being on fire, because what you guys don't know is behind the scenes, there were some really crazy things that happened and really calculated, uh, calculated things that took place. And I can't speak on it too much but it was a bad time and it made the optics of my launch look terrible. And maybe my product is not something that people really want to support on the platform and I get it, it's controversial, fine. Um, but I'm just coming from a place that if I've helped you, like I think it's really uncool to go against me. Like at least just do nothing, like do nothing. But to go against me is really kind of crap, um, especially when I know what you've said behind closed doors. So. To me, those moments with Jeffrey, like when you guys are always wondering, like, why do you, why do you have his back? Like he's like a villain or whatever. Like, why do you have his back? And it's because I've experienced different types of moments with him that are very loyal and that are really cool and that are really caring. And I see through it and I see that he just wants to be appreciated by his friends, you know, like who doesn't, but I think that's what it is. And I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not naming names. I'm not like throwing people under the bus. So I'm not doing this to like stoke the flames. 
I'm doing this to be understood. I've kind of endured so much heat just even being friendly with Jeffrey over the past year. And it's just interesting how the story has really opened up and people have more understanding. And you know, I'd love to have him back on my channel. You guys weren't having it last time. You like really did not like it. Um, and I did hear you and I, and, and done, you know? And then my other thing is I don't like using influencers. Like I don't like the whole social climb aspect of it. Maybe my channel would be bigger if I did. Um, but even like James Charles, we've never collabed, but we're still friends because that's not what it's about. Same with Jeffrey, just because we stopped being on each other's channel because that was a brief moment, doesn't mean that I don't care about him, you know, like, cause it's real. Like I care about people that I care about in my life. It's not just to elevate this, you know, if we can have fun together and help each other elevate, great, cool. But all of this, like going from person to person to person to person, and it's not just one or two people. There's a lot of people doing this. Um, it really, like you see through it really quickly. You see through it really quickly. I see through it really quickly. So I guess my point with all of this is we need to take a breath. We need to try our best to wish people well, to forgive them, to let go so that we're not like sitting here like stressed out and like holding on to all of this hate. Um, but we also need to stick up for ourselves and our community if we are the ones that are sitting here loving this job, loving what we do. You know, I'm here to raise my hand and be like, hey, like, this is about the love of makeup. This is not about, you know, sponsored deals and affiliate codes. I sit here five days a week because I love makeup. I guess like my wish for the community is mutual respect and that we can all just be real with each other and be truthful and hold to our truth. And my wish for working with brands is that um, the influencer side cannot be so aggressive and that the brand side cannot be so like they use us too, you know, like cannot be so misunderstanding of what we do. Um, they tend to disrespect a lot of influencers and that's a whole nother thing. I'm not gonna go far on that, but you know, they use us too. So like it's a two way street. Um, but I just think everybody needs to kind of take a pause, close their eyes and remember why you started this and let that be the biggest space of it all. And the rest is icing on the cake, the brand deals, the brand trips, the collaborations, the PR, like that's icing, but it's not, it's not this energy here. It's not why people watch you. So I hope you can remember that. And I hope that when you're working with smaller brands, the way that I reached out to Makeup Geek once upon a time and said, I love you, you're a trailblazer, don't pay me. I don't want it. Um, I hope a lot of you guys can get on board with supporting things that you know you love without always asking for so much. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sure, if someone comes to you that's a large company and they offer, work it out, work out a great deal for you. Be real with your audience, let them know what you're doing. Yeah, I hope this does not get me into hot water or I'm just gonna like run and hide for like a week solid, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to me. I hope that there was good in here. I hope you, you hear my good and not me complaining because I love YouTube. Like I, I never even complain on Twitter. Like my videos aren't surfacing. Like I just feel lucky. Like I feel lucky that I get to be on this platform at all. And they don't have to let me post and they don't have to pay me. And it's cool that this avenue exists. And I always will want to be smart as a businesswoman to push things along further and make things better for everybody. But my heart will be front and center. Um, kind of driving the machine. So yeah, I love you guys endlessly. Like you are the best. I love you all. And I think I'm going to end it. All right, I'm going to go and we will resume with more makeup tomorrow. If this was a little heavy, you can watch yesterday's video. I'm like giggling with my sisters. I'll link that below. And yeah, let's just all try to love each other. Okay. I know that sounds cheesy, but let's all just like take a pause, take a breath and just try to love one another. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.